Hello, welcome to Delight Channel. I hope you're having a nice time out there. Thanks for joining me this week, and T-Mark is still my name. We have been talking about life-life balance. This is a concept that I am very excited and passionate about because as we will see in today's video, it has a lot to do with whether you are going to live a full, happy, productive life, no matter how short or long it's going to be. And that is really the essence of why this series is coming out. So if I just step back a few steps to say, what have we been talking about? Just in case you are new here, we've been talking about life-life balance, something slightly different from work-life balance that you probably are familiar with. And we have tried to explore what that means. We have tried to explore the variables that even underpins the concept of life-life balance, as well as the factors that predispose us as human beings to suffer imbalance. But the question at the back of our mind, or of my mind is, why is this important? Why should you be worried? Or why should you strive? Or why should you live in the consciousness of achieving life, life balance? That is the focus for this week. And I move quickly to tell you the very first one. If you want to be a happy person, if you want to live a joyful life, you must find balance to your life. What am I saying? I'm saying anybody, young, old, whoever you may be, very successful, very rich, very poor, if you do not find balance to your life, the very first thing that will happen is that you are most likely going to be unhappy. And it's not far-fetched. Look around and see how many rich, successful people are committing suicide. See how many of them are dealing with depression, going into rehabilitation, generally achieving a lot on one side. It could be sport, it could be business, it could be career. But when there is no balance, the other sides of their lives, which they are unable to find balance in, comes back to bite them, and usually it bites them real hard. I saw some messages flying around on social media this week. I will talk about a few. One has to do with the story of a, of a bank executive. The story actually claims to be a true life story. I do not know the specific context. But the summary is this lady had a set of twins, became the head of the bank, but because all that she was passionate and worried about was her career, she lost her children, she lost her family, she lost her mind. This week, there has been many stories about young people, middle-aged people committing suicide and taking their own lives. Some final year students, some working class, some secondary school students. Why? Something is broken. So, when we talk about life-life balance, what we are saying is that your joy, your peace, your happiness may depend on it. But the question then comes, what really is happiness? What are the elements of happiness? And how is the achievement of balance or the lack of balance affecting your ability to be happy? Let me just run through a few, I'm not talking about happiness today, but just to see clearly how this is very impactful on happiness. You'll find that Carl Jung, one of the famous psychologists, has a few things that I also added a few of my own concepts to it because of my journey. And I'd like to just share a few with you. Number one is that to be happy, you need to have a good physical and mental health. I mean, obviously, if all you are doing is one side, you are not likely going to have a good physical and mental health. Many people are dying. In fact, science is showing that lack of movement is one of the biggest cause of sickness and disease and death in this generation. Lack of mobility. Okay? So, if you don't have balance, that is why they are so locked in their job. They can't find time to work out, time to walk, time to exercise. 
If you want to be happy, you must find that balance. And part of the part of your life you must balance out is your physical and mental health. Make that number one. Number two is that they must have strong and healthy relationships. Imagine somebody who's always locked at work, gets there very early, go, leaves the place very late, works Saturday, works Sunday, works public holidays. It does not matter how successful that person gets in the career. How, how much of chance do you give to such a person to become a happy person? So if you don't find balance, you are not likely going to be able to hold and retain healthy relationships. Either you are married or you are single. Make that number two. Number three is the fact that you must be able to appreciate life, beauty, creations, artwork. When last did you see the sunset? When last did you stop to smell the roses? When last did you even stop to compliment the significant people in your life? Your friends, your children, your spouse. When last? If all you are doing is chasing, 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 Remember what we said in the beginning. This concept of chase and chasing perfection is one of the reasons why it is very, very easy for us to get into a tailspin that would throw our lives out of balance. The next point then is being able to achieve re reasonable standard of living. I want you to pay attention to this line. It's called reasonable standard, reasonable quality. Not necessarily the ostentatious and over, overboard kind of standard. Because at the end of the day, all you have is one life. All you can sleep on at a time is one bed. All you can live in at a time is one house. Even if you are flying business class or you even want to hire a jet, all you can fly in at a time is just one craft. So at the end of the day, what's the point really? So it's all about ensuring you don't get caught up in this rat race that at the end of it, everybody is still a rat anyway. The next and second to the last point I want to share is that you must have a form of religion. I'm a Christian and I'm proud to recommend Christianity to you. It goes beyond just going to church. It's about having a relationship with Christ. If you understand the therapy or the therapeutic effect of a simple exercise like prayer, being able to just talk to somebody out there who actually hears and can do something for you, he helps you to stop carrying weight and bearing burdens that he can bear for you. How do you do that if all you are doing is chasing sports or chasing hobby or chasing career alone? Balance, balance means that part of the things to balance out is your religious or spiritual life. But whatever you believe in, if you are believing in something and that thing is working for you, you need time to practice it. And that is where the concept of balance helps you to find joy. And last but not the least is the fact that for you to be happy, you must have a sense of progress. There must be worthy causes that you are chasing. People you are investing in, things you are investing in, and being able to see how it may be an inch at a time, it, will be, it may be a centimeter at a time, it may be a kilometer at a time, but you can have a sense of project period after period. When you look back, you can see that you are not where you were a few months, a few years back. These are the critical ingredients of happiness. And I hope it is clear to you now why finding the balance to all the different aspects of your life is critical to your finding happiness. I have only touched on one reason why life-life balance is something you need to pay, but, uh, pay close attention to. Of course, by the grace of God, next week, I will continue on this thread and I hope you will be here to watch as well. Send this to as many people as need to hear this. If you have somebody in your life that needs to be happy and they are struggling, they are depressed, they are unhappy, if you check it out, Life, life balance or lack of it may be one of the reasons why they are struggling. So let's get your feedback. Let's know if there are things you like us to talk about. And um, I hope to see you here next week as I continue this thread of why you need to work on achieving life, life balance. So until I see you next week, Tim Hack is still my name. 
do like still the channel and don't ever forget that all we are trying to do is what make a little difference see you next week and bye